Hi everybody, um, I'm here to do a makeup tutorial. Um, I wanted to do a makeup tutorial on, um, his name is Star Milan. He did like a Sunflower Beat 2.0. Um, and he got that idea from Pretty Girl Angie. So I kind of want to do a spin-off of that. Um, I just thought it was a pretty makeup tutorial. So if you want to see how I do my Sunflower Beat, um, keep watching. Alright, first I'm going to moisturize my face with my Target Sister Skin Facial Moisturizer. Okay. I don't know if you can see it because of the lighting and stuff and I'm out of here. This is a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to prime my eyes with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. All right, and while that's drying, because I actually like for my um my primers to kind of dry up a little bit, to me it makes the shadow stick a little bit more. I'm going to I'm going to seal my eyebrows because I don't really like draw my eyebrows on or anything because they're already thick and bushy and stuff. So I just wanted to seal my eyebrows with the waterproof mascara. Um, I've had it for forever. I'm not even sure who it's by, so yeah. And this is just out my bushy, like curly eyelash eyebrows. Not to be so curly and yeah, can't help the bushiness. I need to get arch. But okay, now that my eyelids are primed and my eyebrows are somewhat set, I want to start by um and start by adding Max Saddle. to my, as my transition color. I'm gonna use my BH Cosmetic Blending Brush. And you just kinda just wanna, you know, sweep that in your, like, in your crease area and blend it out um i chose this color because it's like close to my skin tone it blends um it makes the eyeshadows blend a lot easier Like to me, when you're doing somewhat like of a 
not a dramatic look and you want something that's going to transition the colors together, make everything blend nice and easy, then I would choose like a eyeshadow close to your skin tone. That way everything just seems to blend flawlessly. But you want to make sure you blend that color in well. Now, we're going to take this NK HD eyeshadow. It's like, because of the lighting, it's so hard to see. But, um, there you go. Maybe. Okay. I'm going to take this, and it's called, I don't know what color. But this is yellow color right here. And I'm going to put this on my lid. And you just kind of want to like pack it on, you know, to make the color a little more pigmented. I mean, I mean, it's not badly pigmented, like I wouldn't think so. Like it's not, but you do have to build it to get the intensity that you like. So I'm going to continue building this. And Star actually uses like a, a matte yellow color. Um, this is not quite matte. It does have like a lot of shimmers to it. I would say it's probably like a... Yeah, it's shimmery. My, I wouldn't say a press pigment because it's not that shimmery. But it, it's got a lot of shimmers in it. Like a lot of shimmers. I'm going to apply the yellow onto my other eyelids. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to take my e.l.f. Um, crease brush, and I'm going to add, I want to say this color is milk chocolate, I'm not sure, I, um, hmm. I kind of lost my sheet that comes with the chocolate bar palette. I wanted to keep it so bad, but as we all know, most of the time we can't keep those things. But I'm going to darken up my crease with milk chocolate from the chocolate bar palette. And I'm just going to like make some nice little blending strokes in there. Alright, you're going to do that in both eyes. Once you put that milk chocolate in your crease, you're going to go back with your blending brush and you're going to blend that out. I mean, and don't be shy with your blending either. Like, blend as much as you think you need to blend because you want your eyeshadows to flow together you don't want them to really be like stop and go like you want the look to flow and 
And you kind of just want to use like the windshield wipe motions and the circle motions. Like to me, it makes it blend easier and more smoother. You gonna do the same thing to the upper eye? And if you hear a bunch of like noise in the background, like playing, it's the kids in the pool. I say like right near social pool, which sounds like a good idea, which it is because it's a nice view and scenery, but. During the summertime, you get like all the kids playing because they have no school, so they can do whatever they want to do, go outside and stuff. So, if you hear a lot of screaming and stuff in the background, it's the kids playing in the pool. And to me, this is a nice, simple, pretty look. So now that it's blended out to my, to my microphone, y'all, I got rid of my plastic label, which I probably should never do. But I'm going to add this color right here, right there, from the chocolate bar palette. I'm going to do it as my highlight up under my eyes. I mean, not up under my eyes, but under my eyebrows. Now, Star does like a, a matte highlight um, under his brow bone, but I decided I don't, wanna, I don't really like matte highlights on my eyebrow. I mean, when you're doing like an all matte look, then yeah, and you want to blend that out like you don't want to leave that left. But anywho, um, then you need to add your top liner. I'm going to use Revlon's Color Stay Liquid Eye Pen. And it looks like this. So, yeah. I always, I know it's not good for you. Look, they did like um a wing liner, but I'm not gonna do a wing liner. I I suck at wing liners. Like I have to use tape and stuff because wing liners are difficult for me. So I'm just gonna do a nice black liner. To brighten my yellow back up a little bit more, I want to go back in with my yellow NK eyeshadow. So, yeah. 
And then I'm actually gonna go back in with that milk chocolate color right there. Right there. Mm. I'm just kinda like deepen it up a little bit. And of course, blended. And you just go like quarter eye, I guess you can call it, with that dark brown color. So that you have like the yellow, the dark brown, and then like your transition color, which mine is saddle. I, Guess you call it like a medium brown color, I'm not sure. Blend it on out like so. So I hope you can see. Now I'm gonna start with my face, okay? Because I have such horrible dark circles from my horrible, horrible allergies. I am going to go in with, with Toffee from the LA Girl Pro Concealer, yeah. And I'm just gonna use this to kind of like correct conceal because I have horrible, 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 horrible dark circles. And I also hit like the sides of my mouth and above the little mustache area. And you're fine. You know, put it in like that. Then I'm gonna go in with this brush. It's like a dud, stud kind of brush. I don't know. I wear these brushes off AliExpress, okay? Because you know I'm like a big AliExpress shopper. I like shopping with AliExpress. Okay. They look like the real technique brushes, but they're not real technique. And then on the sides, as you can see, it says Sedona. Okay. No offense to Sedona. I wasn't trying to buy Sedona brushes. I just saw the brushes and everybody had good reviews on them. So I was like, I'm gonna try these brushes. So this, all this, in. But I'm gonna continue to like blend this out just to like cover my horrible dark hair. Okay. So now that that's like blended, I'm actually gonna go in with my their real yeah, my sample size. And I'm gonna put this on my top lashes and then I'm going to wait for them to dry because I actually have to take this foundation brush that I got from the company of AliExpress and do my foundation. Um, I'm gonna wear the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation and 8.0 so I actually like to apply this the wrong way it has a pump on it so I just like to pump it on my face and then blend it Put some 
much more of it. And then just like dab it at first. But I would wait a minute. Okay, yep. Okay, that's fine. But in dab it. So. Dab, dab, dab. And then like beat it into my face like Are you okay? On camera, this looks kind of weird. But in person, I swear it's like my color. Like, my camera, it looks kind of, I don't know if it's ashy or orange or I don't know. Okay. Shut up a little bit on the camera. So after I do that, I actually like to highlight. So when I highlight, I take um, Glamify, it's just hard candy, heavy duty concealer. I think it's like the darkest shade they come. They don't come in too many like good shades. They are like real light bright. But I take some. This much, okay, and then I just dab a little bit on the other side. So like one, two, three dabs on this side, and then like one, two, still a little bit on this, the three dabs on that side. Okay. So after that, then I like to take my LA Girls Pro Concealer in color Cool Tan. What is this called? Right here. And I like to hope it's clean. It's not clean. So I like to take it and squeeze some up. And then like put it in between those dabs. So like one here, one there, from here, from there, like that. And do the same to the other side. And then after I do both sides, I like to go in and blend them together. So I as good as I can. Yeah. 
this side look like it look, look, needs a little bit more of the LA Girl Pro Concealer. So I just ooh, squeeze them out and then blend it in. Okay? Like so. And then I'm going to take my damp blender that I got from Publix. It's not a beauty blender. But I got it from Publix for $6. And I was like, that's good price. So I wanted to try it out. And yeah. So I'm going to blend my concealer in with this. And then like the harsh edges, I just like to take it and like blend it out. And on this side, I have like way too much. So what I like to do is take a paper towel and like blot it. to remove some of the product and then go back and blend it. And then take the end of my blending sponge and blend out the heart edges. Anyways, I'm going to take the remainder product that I have on my beauty, my beauty sponge, and put on my nose, on my middle of my nose, middle of my forehead, and on my chin, and hit my cupid spell. So, I'm just going to apply a little bit here, so I'm going to blend it out like that, and then down the middle of my nose. And then hit my forehead. And of course, you know, bring it out. Like so. Okay. Yeah. So now I have to go and get my eyelash curler because I left it in the bathroom. So give me one second and I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back. Okay. So I'm gonna take my eyelash curlers and I'm gonna turn them upside down. Because my lashes are super curly on their own. I like to wear flousies. Flousies. <laughs> I like to wear flousies. So in order for me to apply my false lashes, I actually have to curl my lashes down. So and by letting the mascara dry on it, it kind of like make them bendable. So I'm actually going to curl my eyelashes down. And it's done. I'm actually gonna set my highlight with the CoverGirl Professional Loose Powder um, Transition Medium. Okay. Okay. And I'm actually gonna use this little 
domed light brush. It's fluffy. I kind of like it to like set my palette. So, I'm gonna take it, dip it in there, and dust it off. Like that. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit more out. And I'm gonna do the other side. Like that. And like that. And I'm gonna hit my temples. I got from the brush set from AliExpress. Um, it's like a little, I don't know, it's like an up and down brush. It's not really fluffy, it's like up and down, so it's easier for me to blend my contour out with. I'm just gonna blend it out. And I'm just gonna take like little small strokes and just blend it out to my, and then when I get to my cheeks, I kinda like the curve in a little bit. So it don't look so, so straight. I'm just gonna like curve it. So bend it out. And I'm gonna go down here, bend it out. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So. Now I'm gonna set my contour. I'm gonna set my contour with um the CoverGirl Clean Sister Skin Press Powder and Tawn. So looks like that. That's a little narrow inside.
now I'm going to apply my lower lash liner. Starlight to use white. I tried it with the milk, with the NYX milk pencil. I like it, don't get me wrong. It's, I can never set it to where it does not run and transfer. And I have like really watery eyes. So like my eyes are always watery. So by the end of the day, you know, it's on my top lid, my lower lid, the corner of my eye, and the side of my eye. So if I can get some advice on how to make that not transfer, like I put like, um, you know, Max Brule. I put that shadow on top of it to try to make it not transfer. Yeah not happening so if anybody out in my youtube world knows how to make that not transfer because i think it's a beautiful look please let me know so i can attempt to try it so that you know it won't transfer from all over my face so anyways i'm gonna line my eyes with i'm gonna line my eyes with this um, L'Oreal Extra Intense Liquid Pencil Liner. Now, I'm actually going to apply my lashes, but because I have, like, such a rough time applying my lashes and I'm not yet a pro, I am going to take another break and come back when my lashes are applied. Okay? Oh, wait. Before I take my break, I'm going to use these lashes. I, I've been using them, so there's not a full pack. But I got these for, like, $4. So, I got one, two, three. Go ahead. Alright, now my setting powder. So I'm going to take this round brush I got from the brush there and I'm looking for the all this off. Mm -hmm. I didn't like to go in with my foundation brush and just kind of pat around the edges, you know. Make it all kind of flawless, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then, um, I like to go in with the color pop, color pop, um, blush and mocha. Uh, mochi, mochi. Why did I say mocha? Mochi. And it's this nice pink color. And I'm gonna apply that on my cheeks. So now that that's applied onto my cheeks, and I'm gonna highlight. Okay, so I like to highlight with this brush that I got, and my brush set that I got, my lace brush. And I'm gonna take it, and I think I'm gonna take that color that we used on my brow bone out of the chocolate bar palette. And this color right here, that color, I'm just going to put that on my cheeks. Like that. Okay, like that. I know you're like, girl, you did not blend that in. Oh, you look a mess. <laughs> I'm going to take that brush that I used to 
clean the powder off my highlight, kind of like brush it off a little bit, you know, clean it off a little bit, and then I'm gonna use that to put this in. I'm just gonna blend everything in together. Then really like work it in, you know, like blend it in. You don't want any harsh lines, any. You don't want to look weird like that. You don't want to look like that. You don't want that look. You want to blend it in. Now that that's blended, I'm gonna go ahead with a big fluffy brush. And look at my brush, it's so dirty. It's like wow. All the powder just running from it. But I'm gonna go out with this brush and you're gonna this is my setting powder. I don't remember where I got this from. I think I got this from like IK House. I don't remember what brand it is, like none of that. But I set my face with this. So I'm just gonna go in with this and set my face. And this is just gonna um, blend everything in even more so. Okay. Before I forget, because I've been forgetting, I have to contour my nose. So I don't contour my nose with a liquid powder um, because I don't want the contour on my nose to be as harsh as the contour on my face. So I just take the powder that I use to blend my con to set my contour, I use it to contour my nose. I'm just gonna take a couple swipes of this, and then you're gonna take it from. I can take it from about right here, and just like that. Follow the curve of your nose. Just you want to do a couple more swipes and take it from about right here and I'm so sorry. So like these. Okay, and then I'm gonna use uh, this color pop in the color Skimpy. So I'm just gonna apply that all over my lips. And yes, I know it's a glossy finish already, um, but I like mine to be a little bit pink, so I'm going to take Snob by MAC, and I'm going to put that on top. a bit much guys so I clear out the excess don't mind me I'm pretty goofy and now I'm just relining my lips a little bit more yeah so 
to set everything, I'm gonna take my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. This is the little sample travel size. I think you can get for like ten or fifteen dollars at Sephora. Yeah, so I'm gonna set my face with the set spray. Mm, yeah. Okay. And guys, this is the end of this film. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, you can check me out, you know, Instagram at Danielle Michael White. Or on Facebook at Danielle Michael. Until next time. Holla.